Welcome to Old Folks Racing. Welcome to Oscherschleben. And how could we run a series on Project Cars 2 without ever visiting Oscherschleben? We have the Porsche Cayman GT4 today. Good car, a little bit different from other cars we've been running recently. Kev Allen is your pole position man, followed by Simon Owen, Darren Head, an excellent third. Jambo, an excellent fourth, followed by Andy Bramble, Diogo Silva, Stuart Brand, Michael Langley, Chris Russell, and Scott Devley complete the top 10. We have 14 drivers today. We never had such a strong field, and someone has jumped the start over there. I think I couldn't see quite who that was, but let's see the approach to turn one because it's quite a tight corner and we need extreme. Extreme good behavior from all the good folks so far. So good now. We have Carnage. Oh dear, oh dear. We have Jambo there in the middle of the track. We have Diogo Silva and Bremo. Jambo is on top of someone. Jambo has climbed the top of another Porsche. We have Diogo Silva and Andy Bramble completely entangled. We have all sorts of carnage. Stuart Brand has been involved. Frankie has been involved in this. And uh, pretty much everyone except the top three or four. As we see here, a battle for the leaders. Kev Allen takes the lead. Kev Allen takes the lead from Darren Head on the first lap. And already, and Simon Allen really... Uh, they're running over, over the uh, nose cones that uh, actually uh, give you the track limits. I wonder what the stewards are going to think about that. And here's not a nose cone. This looks like a bowling context, uh, contest on this first lap here at Oscherschleben. Very iconic circuit. Um, after the Nordschleife, uh, it was quite difficult to keep it up. But uh, clearly, Oscherschleben is uh, not uh, second fiddle to the Nordschleife. And we have Darren Head running off track there in the final section and loses second place to Simon Allen. Simon with that familiar car. And here's the replay. Oh, I think what happened is that Jumbo uh, in that yellow Porsche was hit by someone and then it was just complete carnage it was just like people rushing for the emergency exit they all tried to get out of the carnage but really just kept stomping over each other here's the replay from the onboards let's see if we can establish what happened we have Stuart Brand down on the top left uh, and uh, Andy Bramo on the top right um, let's see if any of these two was the trigger because I think there is someone uh, oh that is Stuart Brand run into Andy Bramo that ran into Jambo and from there it was just complete mayhem everyone trying to avoid each other only resulting in pretty much everyone getting on the way of each other and uh, I think that most drivers have been involved in this let's try to establish here who wasn't uh, because Michael Langley is in fourth place uh, now he wasn't involved Dirk Talliard incredibly jumping from uh, I think 13th or 14th on the grid to fifth place Phil has done a good job there uh, Stuart Brand now Phil has hit someone Phil has hit uh, Dirk Talliard actually uh, battling for fifth place we are already at the end of the first lap here um, but pretty much a lot of drivers uh, like uh, Barry Evans, Andy Bramo, uh, Frankie, Diogo Silva, Jambo, Scott Davely also losing a lot of time and here comes uh, now Phil on the outside of Dirk Talent They're doing a good job there trying to protect his fifth place Jambo also trying to recover some ground is now in 12th Diogo Silva in 11th behind Andy Bramo who is currently holding the final points, points position. Of course, the fact that we have 14 drivers here today mean that uh, for the first time in Old Fox Racing, there are four drivers who are not going to score any points. Uh, and uh, clearly some drivers in danger of being in that bottom four. Uh, Jambu there in uh, 12th place, Diogo Silva uh, still outside of the points as well. Let's see how this race is going to develop because I think we've got uh, a pretty good race lined up here with some, potentially some of the faster drivers also having drop back. And Dirk Talliard is in the, oh, Dirk Talliard is in the grass and I think that got some help from Phil as Dirk completes a full 360 degree spin in the grass. Very slippery grass here at uh, Orschersleben. It's a circuit known actually for uh, being very slippery on the grass. And here comes Stuart Brand now. Stuart Brand spinning on this chicane. And Owen Jambo is joining him as well. All sorts of 
carnage. Jumbo did a good job there with the reset button. Actually pressed it very quickly and really found a very narrow time window where he wasn't really close, too close to anyone and he got reset and Stuart Brand didn't manage to reset and he lost a lot of time. He's now sitting 14th and last as we finish the second lap already. And see here, in this white car, that's Chris Russell running a bit wide into the first chicane. Chris is doing a good job there in fifth place. Did a good job avoiding or at least getting out early from that carnage. Uh, he's sitting in fifth with Barry Evans, the rookie, uh, sitting in sixth. That's not a bad uh, debut in all Fox Racing for Barry Evans, uh, doing a nice job there. Here we can uh, have Diogo Silva and Andy Bramel. Of course, the danger with these situations here is that they end up just battling each other they are at the back end of the top 10 they end up just uh, being on the way of each other and really losing time when they should be really working together to see if they catch some of the drivers up front um, Andy Bremel has recovered to 7th and that uh, has been a result of Stuart Brand's uh, spin and I think someone else must have lost time as well Diogo now in 8th, Frankie in 9th, Jumbo is in 10th even with that spin. Scott Davley has, um, has a bit of a rough start as well. We couldn't quite figure out what has happened to Scott because I, I'm not entirely sure he was uh, badly affected by the carriage on, uh, in the first corner, but uh, he must have uh, lost time afterwards. Uh, Stuart Brand now with some... Uh, movable aero parts in his Porsche Cayman uh, at the front specifically, now sitting uh, actually in last. Uh, Phil has also lost time. We haven't uh, seen Phil. Oh, the Phil was the one that hit Dirk Talliard, so he must have lost time with that as well. So these three have actually sort of come together in one chair performance. Here we come Diogo Silva on Andy Bramo, and Diogo is trying to put the pressure on Andy uh, here at the end of the fourth lap. Uh, they continue to be... Oh, no, this was not Andy Bramo. Actually, it was Frankie got in front of Diogo Silva. We haven't uh, seen how that uh, happened, but, uh, you know, Frankie and Andy Bramo running similar liveries. That's why I got slightly uh, confused over there. <coughs> uh, but uh, Diogo must have uh, lost time or made a mistake because he's now sitting in ninth. Uh, Frankie has gone through and uh, Andy Bramo actually has checked out completely uh, out uh, out of this group so he's sitting in a comfortable seventh uh, chasing Barry Evans the rookie uh, doing a nice job there and says here's some uh, locking up of uh, Diogo Silva in that uh, uh, sort of like heavy breaking point after a series of relatively quick corners in succession here is the chicane before the back straight which is not flat out, but uh, almost, uh, at least for the midfield drivers. I'm not sure whether Kev Allen and Simon Allen, who are showing, proving to be real experts at the wheel of this uh, Porsche Cayman GT4 here at Orsherschreben. Um, Barry Evans here, he is in that number 50 car. Um, slightly cautious through that section there. He's already thinking about Andy Bramo. Uh, defending from Andy Bramo, who's coming behind, and uh, with him comes uh, Frankie and Diogo Silva. So, uh, actually, Andy has lost a little bit of time somewhere in here because he's now Frankie completely on his tail with Diogo Silva now trying also to get the move into turn one. Who is going to be the bravest of the brave in breaking late, late, late for this first chicken? Here comes Diogo Silva now on Frankie. Can he get the job done? Not quite. Frankie protects. Now he's on the inside for the second second part of this chicane and he is um, trying to attack Andy Bramo who has uh, a relatively slow exit there from that uh, corner right after the chicane here comes Diogo Silva on the two of them on the outside on this corner it's quite a tricky move to try to do but a great will to will battle we, we didn't uh, know what to expect here comes Diogo Silva now on the inside of Frankie Diogo Silva on the inside of Frankie now here in the beginning of this road with fast section can he get the job done we couldn't quite see because the camera has moved away to Andy Bramo but yes he got the job done that so uh, blue baby blue and white 87 is in front again of uh, uh, Frankie so he's now in eighth place Frankie now has his mirrors completely full of Jambo uh, as uh, Diogo uh, continues to try to chase uh, Andy Bremel but uh, actually a, sh a slow exit there from the chicane before the back straight uh, means that Frankie is 
completely on his tail yet again. So this is definitely not over. And great uh, wheel-to-wheel racing. We didn't uh, uh, quite expect... Uh, well, we didn't know what to expect, really, um, because this is, uh, well, a car that... Uh, some people are not very used to and, and certainly has been a learning curve for, for some of the old folks uh, also in the circuit that is um, we couldn't quite call it a classic uh, as, as it were uh, uh, if I'm pronouncing this correctly here comes down Diogo Silva and Bravo trying to break late into turn run can he get the job done can he get the job done he can get the job done no he can't actually he's defending from Frankie sorry I keep confusing Frankie and uh, and um, and Eddie Bremo uh, actually Diogo was defending from Frankie rather than attacking uh, Andy. Uh, he's recovering a bit of ground though, uh, as now Frankie uh, starts thinking again uh, more vigorously about defending from Jumbo. Jumbo has had. Uh, a great qualifying but really he was at the epicenter of that first uh, corner carnage because he got hit by Stuart Brand no he got hit by Andy Bramall uh, who in turn was hit by Stuart Brand run wide and then as he uh, really tried to get into back into the racing line he was hit by pretty much everyone uh, and ended up on top of one of the cars a red car which I couldn't still figure out who, who that was I think it might have been Phil um, but uh, really uh, quite a tricky race for Jambo, still in a point Spain position. Scott Davley has recovered some ground. He's in 11th now, uh, Phil in 12th, Stuart Brand and Dirk Talliard uh, rounding up the top four, 14. As we are already at the midpoint of this race, we haven't seen a lot of the two men up front. That's because Kev Allen is in a commanding three-second lead from Simon Allen. Uh, Darren Head uh, looked like he was able to challenge the Allens on the first couple of laps, uh, but now he's sitting 7.3 seconds from the lead. Michael Langley has uh, been a relatively lonely fort, but he has done a good job of avoiding the carnage and then really checking out from the rest of the pack. That continues, and someone has run wide there. That's one, that someone was Stuart Brand. Stuart Brand is still battling. Um, no, it, it was Phil. I'm sorry. Phil has run wide and Stuart Brand is still battling with him for uh, 12th place. Um, the thing is here that with, with so much happening on the track at any given point in time, the battle for 12th place is actually relevant because you never know. Uh, three corners from now, you might just have someone just running off the track and being hit by someone, and all of a sudden, that battle for 12th just becomes the battle for 10th, and that's a championship point, which is, uh, of course, something that is relatively scarce nowadays with such a growing field here at Old Folks Racing PS4, as now Diogo Silva has found Andy Bramo, who in turn is being slightly held up by uh, Barry Evans, the rookie. Uh, he has uh, been trying to overtake Barry for a few corners now, but uh, not quite successful at uh, putting that Porsche uh, Cayman GT4 in a position to really make a move and now finds himself Andy, uh, pressurized by Diogo Silva. Here comes Andy Bramo now trying a half-hearted move in the last corner, ends up just locking up and actually losing more time and here comes Diogo Silva now. Diogo Silva is really on the back of Andy Bramo. Let's see if we can see a move here in the approach to the first corner. It's a really, really late breaking and Diogo Silva is going to go for it. He's going to go for it and Andy has locked up again and Diogo has got the job done. Diogo has got the job done. Slight contact there, but well done for Diogo Silva to break late and actually be able to negotiate the first chicane without breaking track limits. This is what I was talking about. These two are probably faster than Barry uh, in, in sixth place. And as, as and he locks up again, he's really struggling with the brakes of this Porsche Cayman GT4. Uh, but these two just keep losing time uh, and, and, and really trying to get uh, in the way of each other. And uh, this is uh, just good for Barry that uh, completely checks out from them. Although now it seems that the positions are a bit more stable. Diogo has uh, opened up a slight gap of uh, a couple of car lengths in that uh, 87 uh, baby blue uh, car. Um, and he can now actually put more pressure on, uh, on Barry as Jambo is now very interested in Phil's 11th place. Jambo was in 10th just a couple of moments ago. Something must have happened to him as the Stuart Brand recovers now the Porsche GT4 to a point-spaying position. 
he's in 10. Scott Navely is in 9. So that's a nice recovery um, from uh, Mr. Scott Consistent. Uh, of course, Consistency is his middle name. And he has uh, uh, had a bit of a tough start here at Orford 11. Uh, but now recovering nicely already into 9, which now became 10 because Stuart Brand has gone through. We've seen that in the leaderboard, uh, although we haven't seen the footage in the track. We're following Jambo and Phil. Normally, they are used to slightly higher positions in the field. Normally, they should be battling for a top five. But now, they're battling for 11th place. And Jambo is now on the outside of turn one. At the end of lap nine, it's a tricky move to do. But he's done it. He's done it. Well done. This was an excellent overtaking move by Jambo. And you can see that in all Fox Racing PS4, we battle just as hard for 11th place as we battle for the lead. Although Phil is now coming back at him. Phil is coming back at him. As we see now, Andy Bramo on... Uh, on Barry Evans, which means that Barry has actually lost a place to Diogo Silva as well. Diogo goes up to six, which is the highest he has been as Andy really locking up two or three times a lap. That's not going to help his tires at all as Barry runs wide now. Barry runs wide before the chicane and he gets passed by Andy Rambo. It was quite difficult to resist the pressure. And Andy is hoping now that he can uh, recover some ground to battle for that sixth place. Diogo Silva is in there. Uh, can both of them uh, potentially catch Chris Russell? Not quite, because not only they are almost 10 seconds behind, um, but also Chris is actually lapping faster. Chris has done a 1.39 uh, zero, and uh, Diogo Silva last lap, uh, which was in clear air, has been a 1.39.455. So I think that Chris Russell is, uh, after uh, a tough time at the Nordschleife, uh, is actually going to score a top five here. That's that's an excellent result from Chris, and we hope to see him uh, every week with us from, from now on, because he's, he's a really good addition to this field uh, in all Fox Racing PS4. Simon Allen is in second place. He's actually... Oh, no, he's not in second place. Uh, so, cameraman, what has happened here? Because Simon Allen has lost the position to Darren Head. Um, who now goes up to an excellent second place. Uh, they are both uh, eight seconds behind Kev Allen. Kev is uh, probably uh, managing his pace. He's got this race under control for what would be the 13th victory of the season for Kev Allen. Here he is now ending lap 10, entering his uh, finishing lap 10, sorry, entering his penultimate lap. Uh, and really no one in sight as he now has got almost nine seconds over Darren Head. Darren uh, is preparing to uh, finish uh, on his best ever position, if I'm not mistaken. He's had a podium in Laguna Seca. He didn't turn up for the Nordschleife, so yes, this is going to be second place and uh, his best ever position. Here comes Jambo now. Jambo on Scott Davley. Scott has been in ninth and he is now in tenth, but he is going to try to defend here from Jambo and he's done it. Again, good stuff from Scott. Good, consistent driving, no mistakes, but keeping the yellow car behind Jumbo is eyeing a championship point here on what has been a very trying first race here at Wolfer Fleurban. Uh, as they both actually, uh, well, Barry Evans is in nine, so he, he was actually battling with Diogo and Andy for sixth place, and now he must have. Uh, uh, made another mistake because he's in night and here comes Scott Davley now. Scott Davley is trying to get... Uh, uh, oh! And they have contact, I think, but they all survive to fight another day. Barry Evans in nine, Scott Davley in 10, Jambo is in 11th, and Phil is not far behind in 12th. This is what we want to see in all folks racing, wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing all through the field with similar equipment and similar levels of talent. Jambu is getting quite frustrated there because he knows that he needs to score points uh, to uh, remain where he is in the championship, but, but he, he, he can't find a way past Scott Davley in that 35 car. Uh, Scott doing a good job, and Scott is also looking for uh, Barry Evans. Barry doing a good job on his first ever race at Walk Old Fox Racing. He has been uh, battling with pretty much everyone, and uh, right now he still holds a points-paying position as we are now on the last lap of this race. 
and uh, Kev Allen has everything under control. I think the action is here. Really, the action is in here. Comes Jumbo. Jumbo now on the inside before the last chicken. Can he do it? No, he can't do it because it's really tricky to overtake here because it looks as if you are dancing on ice in Orschersleben and you can visualize this in your mind yourselves because it's very tricky to overtake there. It's very tricky to go through there even without overtaking anyone. Uh, you really have to make sure that you break on the straight line and you almost turn in as if you were driving on ice. Uh, Jambo certainly felt that and he has now fallen to, well, he has not fallen any place because he's still in the 11th, but he's definitely uh, going to be further away from uh, points finishing position as we see now Kev Allen there was never any doubt on who was going to win this race because he has led almost from the outset Kev Allen in at number 98 has won round number 43 at Orscherschleben well done to Kev Allen for yet another victory Darren Head, he's coming uh, here to celebrate a very well-deserved second place and that's a very good result. He knows it, he knows it, Darren. Well done, Simon Allen in third place, loses another 10 points in the championship battle. Michael Langley uh, on what is uh, going to be most likely his uh, final round. He's going to still be in race two, but then he has informed us that he's going to be off for a while, but he's done a very good job uh, in, in fourth place. Here is Chris Russell, which uh, very, very strangely, we haven't figured this out, uses the nickname Twixter Give Death, and I wonder what that actually means. Um, I wonder if he can explain to us. Diogo Silva now getting caught by Andy Bramo, uh, but it's a little too little too late as Diogo is in, uh, finishes in sixth, Andy in seventh. Uh, those two had a good battle uh, throughout the race. Eight is going to be Stuart Brand after yo-yoing uh, between inside the points and outside the points. Barry Evans finishes in ninth. Scott Davely finishes in tenth. That's the last of your point scorers. Uh, Eleventh is Jumbo, who is not going to be too happy with that. Frankie in twelfth. Uh, and that's a bit of a shame after a very good qualifying. Phil has lost another position. He was in 12th just a little while ago, but he's coming home to uh, finish in 13th. And of course, all these drivers uh, next season, from next season onwards, they are going to score points um, because we are going to change the point system. More on that later. Confirmation of your result there with Kev Allen with a commanding victory. Uh, join us very soon for race two for yet another uh, incredible duel in classic. Don't miss it. Stay with us.